Type the term codependent relationship in any search engine and hundreds of articles will come up. Is it that codependent relationships are a growing phenomenon? Or is it that more and more people are recognizing it for the unhealthy cycle it creates? Relationships are about give and take in a partnership of two individuals. But in a codependent relationship, all things tend to revolve around one half of the couple. Oftentimes, it is the female in the relationship that is the codependent partner. She is eager to please, always with a smile on her face, even when she is sad or upset. Usually, it's a learned behavior from the household she grew up in. Couples in codependent relationships tend to struggle for power and control. One or both are often anxious, resentful, and are guilt-stricken. They do not respect each other's individuality or the need for autonomy. Surprisingly, though, the relationships are usually drama-free, but that's because one or both are not honest about their feelings. These relationships also tend to lack in passion and true intimacy. If you think you're in a codependent relationship or marriage, here are the 10 signs to look for. Sign number one, spouse's opinion matters more than your own, especially in decision making. Sign number two, you prioritize their happiness, even if it makes you unhappy. Sign number three, you do not do anything without them and do not have your own identity. Sign number four, you do not set appropriate boundaries with your spouse and fear telling them no. Sign number five, you ignore their dishonesty, possessiveness, and jealous tendencies. Sign number six, you avoid confronting your partner about important issues because you fear rejection. Sign number seven, You can't live without the other person. Sign number eight, you feel trapped in the relationship, but feel that if you did leave, you'd be a horrible person for abandoning your partner. Sign number nine, you feel as if your life revolves around your partner. Sign number 10, you cancel plans to accommodate your partner's whims. According to marriage counselors, Autonomy is the key to a healthy, balanced marriage. In a marriage, yes, you love each other and you want to spend time together, but you should also be able to function independently. There needs to be allowances for separateness, differences, and one's own thoughts and feelings. A partner should feel like a support beam, not an anchor. What are your thoughts on codependent relationships? Are you in a codependent relationship or know someone who is? Now, are some couples blissfully ignorant existing in this state, or are they in denial? I think either way, the bliss or denial cannot last forever. So what other telltale signs of codependency would you add to this list? Share your thoughts, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.